So we're going to represent the following data with a dot plot. A dot plot is a very useful way of plotting fairly simple data. Basically, every point on the number line, we put a dot whenever we get a data point there. So what we're going to record is the number of siblings. We're going to ask a class of children how many siblings they've got, and we're going to tally each response. So you can see that there are four people who are only children. Twelve of them have one brother or sister. Nine have two brothers or sisters. Three have three. One person has four siblings. No one has five siblings, but we have one person with six and one person with seven. Uh, and zero have eight or more. So we just draw our number line. We can start and end our number line wherever is sensible for the data. We're going to go from zero up to eight. Even though no one has eight, we'll put that on there. And we just start putting dots on wherever we need to. Four dots at zero, 12 dots at one, nine dots at two, three dots at three, a dot at four, nothing at five, a dot at six and seven. And that's our dot plot there. Now something that makes a dot plot really useful is that we can continually add data to it until we're done. For example, if six new people show up the following day and want their data added to the chart, we can quickly update the tally count and then it's a very simple case just to add those last few data points to the chart. Okay, so that's how you make a dot plot. It's a nice simple way to describe your data. You can see the shape of the data and the spread on the data. And that's it.